let us quickly discuss about the solutions of mathematics part of the ESC 2020 prelims exam. Question number 21, the first question. Find the absolute maximum and minimum values of f of xy is equal to 2 plus 2x plus 2y minus x square minus y square on a triangular plate in the first quadrant bounded by x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0 and y is equal to 9 minus x. So this is basically a maximum minima problem that has been clearly stated here. And the given function is f of xy 2 plus 2x plus 2y minus x square minus y square is a function of two variables x and y. <coughs> so immediately what we should know is we should find out what and all we need to find out to find maxima and minima in case of two variables. What and all we need to find out both the first derivative and the second derivative that is dou f by dou x and dou f by dou y we need to find out and both of them we need to make it equal to 0 when you solve these two equations you will get the extremum point then you need to find out <coughs> Its second derivatives dou square f by dou x square which is al also termed as r and dou square f by dou x dou y which is also termed as s and dou square f by dou y square which is termed as t. So you need to find out r, s, t. These five quantities you need to find out. Let us quickly then based on the condition of r and r t minus s square. We can say whether the point which we have found out whether at that point whether maxima exists or minima exists or it is a saddle point or it is a neutral no maxima and minima exists. Okay. Now quickly find out what is dou f by dou x with respect to x you partially differentiate it. So this becomes 0. So this becomes 1 2 into partial differentiation of this is equal to 1. So dou f by dou x is equal to 0 plus 2. <coughs> This is y is treated as constant, so this is 0 minus 2x. x square is minus 2x. Again, it is 0. <coughs> so this is my dou f by dou x. Similarly, what is my dou f by dou y? 0 plus 0 plus 2 with respect to y we are doing. So this is again 0 minus 2y. So it is 2 minus 2y. Okay, now both of them I should make it equal to 0. So 2 minus 2x is equal to 0. It gives us 2 is equal to 2x. That means x is equal to 1. <coughs> Sorry. So from here 2 is equal to 2y. So y is equal to 1. So the point we have arrived is 1 comma 1. Now at that point... Now at that point we need to find out what is r, s and t. What is r dou square f by dou x square? Let us quickly find out what is r. Okay. So dou square f by dou x square. That means again to this quantity you need to one partially differentiate with respect x one more time. So this becomes 0 and this becomes minus 2. So r is equal to dou, by dou, dou square f by dou x square. That is dou by dou x of dou f by dou x. That is nothing but partially differentiate this with respect x one more time. That will give you minus 2. So r here is less than 0. Now what is yes? Dou square f by dou x dou y that is nothing but dou by dou y of dou square dou f by dou x. Not dou square, dou f, dou by dou y of dou f by dou x or dou by dou x of dou f by dou y. Either way, you can do it. So this you have to differentiate with respect to y. This is constant and this will also be treated constant. So this is equal to 0. Now what is t dou square f by dou y square? That is dou by dou y of dou f by dou y. So, with respect to y again, if you do it, this will become 0, this will become minus 2. Now, r has come, s has come, t has come. Next, what we should do using these two, what is r t minus s square unit to find out? What is r t minus s square? r is minus 2, t is minus 2, that is minus 2 into minus 2 plus 4, s is 0. So, this is equal to 4, which is greater than 0. So, from the conditions what we have already seen rt minus s square if it is greater than 0 and if r is less than 0 so what is the condition r is less than 0 rt minus s square is greater than 0 if this is the condition what will exist maxima will exist for the given function 
so that means at 1 comma 1 we have maxima okay suppose if it is r greater than 0 minima will exist when rt minus s square is greater than 0 but r is greater than 0 then we will have minima however one more thing what we need to check is at this point at 1 1 we have maxima and what is the maximum value the maxima is equal to f of 1 comma 1 what is f of 1 comma 1 we have to substitute 1 comma 1 here that is 2 plus 2 into 1 2 plus 2 into 1 2 minus 1 square minus 1 y square again minus 1 so 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 so what is the maximum value 4 now one more thing what we need to check here is he has asked us whether the given point is bounded by this or not these three x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 and y is equal to 9 minus x how you will check it now find out what is the reason in this so now go to that graph what is x is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 is nothing but y axis so this is x is equal to 0 this is y is equal to 0 x axis and the other line he has given is y is equal to 9 minus x how the line will be what is its x intercept x intercept y is equal to 0 so 9 minus x is equal to 0 how I am doing is find out for any line you have if you have to plot any line on a graph what you need to do is find out its x intercept and find out its y intercept when I say x intercept that means at which point it crosses x and at which point it crosses y on x axis we know y is equal to 0 so simply substitute y is equal to 0 here so it becomes 0 is equal to 9 minus x so that means x is equal to 9 so suppose say this is the point 9 comma 0 so on x axis this line goes through 9 comma 0 similarly on y axis x is equal to 0 substitute x is equal to 0 that means y is equal to 9 minus 0 that is y is equal to 9 so on y axis it goes through a point 0 comma 9 so these two are the intercepts now draw a line joining these two so this is the line representing the third one y is the third line y is equal to 9 minus x so that means this is the region in which we need to find out its maxima and minima here the question has been asked little wrong it cannot be maxima and minima okay it should be maxima or minima whatever is the extremum in this case from the standard theory we came to know at 1 1 comma 1 we have maxima and that value is equal to 4 what we have to ensure now is this point shall lie within this region so whether 1 1 lies within this region or not up to here it is 0 9 and it is sorry this is 0 9 and it is 9 0 1 will be somewhere here 1 will be somewhere here so that means the point will be somewhere here so 1 1 will certainly lies within this region so in unity worry the maxima that we have occurred the value of the maxima is 4 and the point is 1 comma 1 so the answer is C now let us see the next question question number 22 for the matrix A the expression a big expression has been given a power 5 minus 4 a power 4 minus 7 a cube plus 11 a square minus a minus 10 i is equal to so that means we need to simplify this equation at the first glance when you see a very <coughs> any big polynomial expression in terms of a matrices any matrix polynomial expression what you should remember is characteristic equation of the matrix and cali hamilton's theorem what is cali hamilton's theorem it states for a square matrix the given matrix is a square matrix <coughs> the square any square matrix would always satisfy its characteristic polynomial what is the characteristic polynomial by finding debt of a minus lambda i is equal to 0 this will give the characteristic equation for this particular matrix what is the characteristic equation that will give me determination debt of 1 minus lambda 4 2 
and 3 minus lambda a minus lambda i this will be equal to 1 minus lambda into 3 minus lambda minus 4 into 2 8 that will give me minus lambda minus lambda lambda square minus 3 lambda minus lambda minus 4 lambda plus 3 minus 8 minus 5 so this is the characteristic polynomial from Cali Hamilton's theorem what we know is every square matrix would satisfy its characteristic polynomial that means a square minus 4a minus 5i since it is in matrix this will be equal to 0 th. this is again matrix not just a scalar value so for this particular matrix this is true now what we need to find out is simpler form of this <coughs> So how you can find a simpler form of that one, for example, I'll write the expression here or rather the expression is a power 5 minus 4 a power 4 minus 7 a cube plus 11 a square minus a minus 10 i. Okay, now we have to write this as this characteristic polynomial a square minus 4a minus 5i into something plus something. So if you can write like this, this is equal to 0 by virtue of Cali Hamilton's principle. I'll write it here Cali Hamilton's principle. Okay, this is what we are invoking here. Now <coughs> So this expression will become 0 and we will be left with this remainder which will be our answer. Now for this particular thing how to find out this let us quickly see. Okay. How you usually have to proceed is that take the first or highest term a square and consider the highest term here a power 5. So I have to multiply this with a cube then only I will get a power 5. So write a cube. So a square into a cube will give me a power 5. But this a cube also will multiply the other two terms here. So that will give me a cube into minus 4a. So a power 5 we have already got. a cube into minus 4a will give me minus 4a power 4. Minus 5i into a cube will give me minus 5a cube. First term I have got. Second term is minus 4a power 4. That also I have got. Now proceed to the next term minus 7 a cube but I have got minus 5 a cube that means I have to get another minus 2 a cube. Now consider the first term <coughs> here minus 7 is there here minus 5 is there. So what I need to get is minus 2 a cube. How minus 2 a cube will come consider the first term here a square into minus 2 a will give me minus 2 a cube. So I have got minus 2 a cube here. So this total became minus 7 a cube. So a cube term I have got. But this minus 2a also will multiply with the other two. So that will give me minus 4a into minus 2a plus 8a square minus 5i minus 2a that is plus 10a. Okay. Now a cube term is over come to a square term. <coughs> How much a square is there? 11 a square is there here. But we have already got 8 a square. So we need 2 more a square. Again consider the first term here a square. I need 2 more a square. Here what I have is 11 a square. Here I have 8 a square. I need 3 more a square not 2. 3 a square. To get this term I have to multiply this a square with 2. So just add sorry 3. So just add 3. Okay, so now if you add 3, it will also multiply all three, all these 3 terms. So that becomes 3a square minus 12a minus 15i. So if you see 8a square plus 3a square, 11a square. So this term also now I have got. I have to get now a. To get a, I cannot multiply this with anything. You cannot write a inverse. Okay, so this ends here. Now the remainder you just write. What will be the remainder? I should have minus a here. But what I have here is 10a minus 12a minus 2a minus 15i. This is what I have got here. But what I should have is minus a. 
here I have minus 2a so if I add plus a minus 2a plus a will become minus a so this also I have got now I should get minus 10i here I have minus 15i but I should have minus 10i that means another plus 5i if I add so this becomes minus 15i plus 5i that is minus 10i okay so this is the remainder so the given expression can be written as a square minus 4a minus 5i into a cube minus 2a plus 3 plus a plus 5i since this is equal to 0 from this Kelly Hamilton's theorem so the entire first part becomes 0 so this will be equal to a plus 5i so this is the simpler form our answer is b the point to note here is any anywhere whenever you see a complex or a difficult a bigger polynomial function in matrix then you should remember Kelly Hamilton's theorem and characteristic equation of the matrix let's see the next question question number 23 the solution of the ODE 1 plus y square dx is equal to tan inverse y minus x into dy okay options has been given so we know solution of the differential equations now <coughs> if you write it as generally dy by dx is equal to 1 plus y square by tan inverse y minus x you will not be ending up anywhere okay actually similar <coughs> not similar exactly the same uh, question we have already solved in our video lectures you can just refer them or otherwise from the given options you can take a q here usually the solution will be in any word is whatever we read so far the solution will be of the form y is equal to some function of x or something like that but here if you see all the options x is equal to some function of y that means this should give you a hint that the given differential equation shall be written as dx by dy is equal to something because usually solution when you are dealing in terms of dy by dx y is a function of x here x is a function of y has been given so this has to be dealt in terms of dx by dy <coughs> okay this q you should take from the given options so now if you write it as dx by dy is equal to what will be dx by dy here dx by dy will be equal to tan inverse y minus x by 1 plus y square so i will write it as tan inverse y by i will expand it tan inverse y minus x by 1 plus y square i will write it as tan inverse y by 1 plus y square minus x by 1 plus y square if i further rewrite it i can write this as dx by dy plus x, this i'll bring it here plus x into 1 plus 1 by 1 plus y square is equal to tan inverse y in by 1 plus y square if you see this <coughs> this can be written as this is of the form linear equation form dx by dy plus x into some function of y p of y is equal to some function of y this is linear equation <coughs> how to trans what is the solution for this linear equation x into integration factor if is equal to integral of q into if dx sorry dy plus constant what is this if here if is equal to e power integral p dx sorry e power integral p dy what is p 1 by 1 plus y square what is integration of 1 by 1 plus y square tan inverse y so this will be e power tan inverse y so what is my integration factor here e power tan inverse y so what would be my solution i will write it here my solution is x into if that is x into if is integration factor is e power tan inverse y is equal to integral q is tan inverse y by 1 plus y square i will write this as tan inverse y into 1 plus 1 by 1 plus y square i am just writing it as a different i mean slightly different if is e power tan inverse y 
डी वाई प्लस कॉन्स्टेंट सी इंटीग्रेशन कॉन्स्टेंट नाउ आई नीड टू फाइंड आउट दिस इंटीग्रेशन ओके नाउ इफ यू कंसिडर टू सॉल्व दिस इफ यू कंसिडर टी इज इक्वल टू सम टेन इनवर्स वाई एज्यूम टी इज इक्वल टू टेन इनवर्स वाई implies dt is equal to tan inverse y differentiation is 1 plus 1 by y square dy so 1 plus 1 by y square dy can be written as dt t is equal to tan inverse y so this becomes integral of t 1 by 1 plus y square dy is dt this is e power t this is dt plus constant what is the integration integral uv form what is integral uv integral uv is equal to u integral v minus integral of u dash integral v now u is t if you consider t as u it becomes easy when you have to first differentiate it t will disappear so this becomes u integral v u is t integral of e power t is e power t only minus integral of u dash first derivative of t is with respect to t is 1 integral v is e power t that is e power t only 1 into e power t plus constant so integration of e power t is e power t only integration of e power t is e power t only so let us substitute what is t tan inverse y so this becomes t tan inverse y into e power tan inverse y minus this is e power tan inverse y plus constant is equal to x into tan inverse y sorry e power tan inverse y cancel out all e power tan inverse y or send this e power tan inverse y the other side it becomes x is equal to tan inverse y into e power tan inverse y by e power tan inverse y so we will be left with tan inverse y minus e power tan inverse y by e power tan inverse y will become 1 plus c by e power tan inverse y that will become c into e power minus tan inverse y so the correct option is x is equal to tan inverse y minus 1 plus c e power minus tan inverse y the correct option is b actually exact exact problem we have already solved in our video lecture so you can just refer there for the complete procedure also now let's see the next question if u is equal to log of natural logarithm x power 4 plus y power 4 by x plus y then x dou u by dou x plus y dou u by dou y is equal to four options he has given with the first glance itself we should be able to tell that we have to use Euler theorem for homogeneous functions now the given function is in a different form it cannot be directly tell we cannot directly tell that u is a <coughs> sorry u is a homogeneous function but what we know is this is a homogeneous function x power 4 plus y power 4 by x plus y so we'll rewrite this as e power u is equal to x power 4 plus y power 4 by x plus y now let us assume this is equal to some f f is equal to x power 4 plus y power 4 by x plus y okay <coughs> this is a homogeneous function or not it is a homogeneous function because we can write this as x power 4 you can take out as common and you can write this as 1 plus y by x power 4 by x you can take out and write it as 1 plus y by x so this is x cube into some function of y by x that is 1 plus y by x whole cube by 1 plus y by x so x power n into some function of y by x we, we, we were able to write so it is a homogeneous function of the order 3 so from Euler theorem <coughs> for homogeneous function what we know if f is a homogeneous function of order n then we can write x dou f by dou x 
plus y dou f by dou y is equal to n f. Here n is the order of the function. Here order is 3. So we can write this as 3 f. But what is f? f is e power u. Substitute. It will become x. Dou by dou x of e power u is plus y again dou by dou y of e power u is equal to 3 e power u. Now what is dou by dou x of e power u? Use chain rule. This is a function of u. u is a function of x comma y. So this can be written as x into dou by dou x of e power u can be written as dou by dou u of e power u. That is nothing but e power u into dou u by dou x. Similarly, y into this can be written as e power u into dou u by dou y is equal to 3 e power u. e power u can be cancelled in all the terms because e power u would never be equal to 0. So, this will become x dou u by dou x plus y dou u by dou y is equal to 3. So, the correct option is d. Now, how did I write this dou by dou x of e power u? Let, uh, let me just explain here. This is dou by dou x of e power u. So, using chain rule, how can I write it as dou by dou u of e power u into dou u by dou x? This is chain rule. Dou by dou u of this into dou u by dou x. Now, dou by dou u of e power u is e power u only into dou u by dou x. So the same thing I have used. Actually similar question exactly same except the powers are same. I think this is x square plus y square by x plus y was there I guess. So the same question u is equal to log of x square plus y square by x plus y. Then what is x dou u by dou x plus y dou u by dou y was asked in ESC 2018 prelims. That also we have solved and it was discussed during our video lectures. The correct answer is 3.